Hey, what's going on, Maniacs? Last week I picked up a 2003 Sea-Doo GTX Supercharged. It only has 97 hours on it, but it could really use some love. As you can see from this footage, it's uh, been uh, weathered pretty badly. There's all sorts of oxidization on the bottom of the hull, and even where the yellow is. That the, the bottom of the hull is actually supposed to be black, not silver. So I'll be uh, restoring the color using a uh, variable speed polisher with some oxidation remover. Uh, and then there's also um, resin from the deck clothes that used to be on the front. So I'll be using some Goo Gone to get that stuff off. Stay tuned for footage of the progress. This is the big dirty right here. Ready to use something sharper. Maybe some varsal. All right, so when it comes to the really Hefty decals. Varsal's your your savior. That made it so easy to get that off. I don't know if he'll don't know how much I'll struggle with the old CD resin decals. We'll find out. There's the other side. Can't even tell there was decals on there. Alright. Just for sake of argument, let's see how resistant this stuff is to the varsal. Yeah, it's coming off. Using a old debit card. You don't want to use metal. Alright, so as you can see, it is coming off, but it's going to take a lot of elbow grease. Here's a quick update. All the decals are off. You can still faintly see where they were. So it's going to take more polishing to get that down. Where the Sea-Doo decals are, were, there's like no trace of them. And further that, I've started polishing the severe oxidation on the bottom. You can see where I've hit it so far. Nice, glossy smooth. You can see where they used to have the sea doo decal over here. And you can see where I've stopped polishing. So all that white is gonna be black, glossy black like here. And of course, I got the bottom to deal with. That's gonna be a pain, but I'll get her done. Just wanted to provide a quick update on this GTX 
I've done one side above the water line back to the uh, sponson. The sponson, I was trying to work around it with a drill, but I think I'm better off just reaching in there and taking the bolts out to get the sponson off. Assuming I don't snap some bolts in the process. Well, here's a quick video of the side it's done, and I'm gonna film the other side being worked on just so you can see how tedious it is getting the work, getting, it, getting some progress. See, still need to hit there. Along here is nice and shiny. Unless you go up, it's a bit harder to hit up there under the rail. That spots and it's a pain to work around, so I'm probably just gonna take it off. And then if you look below the water line, it looks white. Many hours of labor to go. Some of the tools and the compounds I'm using uh, for underneath where the oxidation is really bad. I'm, actually, I'm using this uh, 3M rubbing compound because it really takes a lot of material off, lets you eat right through all the oxidation. For above the water line where it's yellow, I'm using the oxidation remover, McGuire's number 49. I'm planning to polish, whether I use the uh, rubbing compound or the oxidation remover, I'll be using this flagship premium, what's this stuff called? Premium Marine Wax. This stuff's great. For tools, I'm using a high speed drill. I've got a polishing kit I got from Princess Auto. Specifically, this one for getting the tight spots around uh, the bunks in the, the frame of the trailer. And this one for the spots that the polisher can't quite hit. And the polisher I'm using is Makita. It's big, heavy duty, um, variable speed. Ranged from like six, 600 to 3500 RPM, I believe. The actual head is wool. And for applying the uh, for applying the marine wax later, I'll be using this one. Feels like a dish rag. <laughs> and this uh, this is some of the tools in action. Here, I like to put a couple dabs on it and then spread it out. Start with a, a low speed just to get it in there. Then just give her with the high speed. Give you a quick demo of how quick it works. Most of it's already come off, just like that. But you do have to do frequent applications of the oxidation remover. This stuff. It's the good stuff right here.
Some parts are too small for the big balls just for you to drill. See if it's a resistance to rubbing compound, the 3M. Okay, I'm So if you need to hit it harder, use rubbing compound. What a difference. There's the oxidation I'm talking about. Really bad stuff. It's hard to reach. It works the magic. If you want to check your work, grab a clean microfiber cloth and some marine wax and just clean that area up. Clean all the dust off of it. Looking pretty clean. Very little oxidation left. Little mark there, I need to patch a little more. It's so shiny, so clean. All right, maniacs. This is the end result of many evenings of going to town on this hall. The CU deck, as you see, were created using a Cricut vinyl cutter. It was also used to create the registration numbers you see at the front. I appreciate you taking the time to check out my hull restoration process. Please remember to whack that like button, and if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below.